Well, I'd seen this video by Queen Bee Knightley, and it really made me laugh. A child should be able to look at what she says, especially in the first uh, minute or so of the video, and say, hey, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Then the video, she goes on about the psyop to do with the flat earth and ball earth argument and she mainly accuses all the flat earth people to have trolls and be the big thing and she herself is part of the round earth uh, contingent yes the round earth contingent she probably is best friends with some of the others uh, they were saying something where Matt Powland they reckon has got a, a site that pushes round earth I wouldn't be surprised seeing the guy who can't understand about the holocaust but less than them made a very good video here and I don't really have to uh, make one on top of this except just to tell you about this video and say go watch it and you won't have to go and watch Queen Bee Nightly because I tell you Queen Bee Nightly is a shocker let's just listen to this bit here she makes it to the top of the mountain well because let me just say you've got a camera here and you can see the horizon is level with the observer and somebody's climbed a bit higher than the observer, so now they're higher than the horizon. Like, you'd have to be a child not to see through. A child, look, when I was about six years old, maybe at five you could have fooled me. I would have gone, because you're a big adult. But one year or two years of school, I would have said, nah, that's not right. What's happening here? Here we go. You listen to this. This lady, Queen Bee Knightley. This info agent number one. I don't know, we're not getting any sound here. Maybe it comes on in a second. It's got a really good here. Oh, oh here. Guys, we made it to the top of Mount Jefferson. We made it to. This is exactly um, how high up I got when I went out of work down to find it. And when I got to the top, um, there were certain spots where I could stand and I could look around me in 360 degrees. And you know what I saw? I saw that the whole earth was below me. And as oh, of course the whole earth was below you. You're on a, a bloody mountain. <laughs> How's that? Well, great logic there. Now, Mishu Kuku, you know Mishu Kuku and that moon thing where the guy asks him the questions of the moon? I'm sure many people have seen it. I've done a video on it. And he's just totally talking BS back to the guy. Doesn't answer one question the guy asks. Uh, just waffles on about the aluminium flag business. And the guy never asked. But mind you, even the guy asking, it's all a total Masonic little pantomime. They wouldn't let a real person even on. Even though the questions appear to be hard hitting. They've got to be hard hitting enough. And Mishu Cuckoo's answers have got to be deceptive enough. The average punter listens to it and goes, Oh yeah, well that's right then. Because people make comments like, Mishu Cuckoo owns the uh, NASA hoaxer people. But uh, this Queen Bee Knightley is another kettle of fish and she rattles on about the uh, PSYOP and just accuses it all on the flat earth side. Well that alone should tell you, we know now with any of these things that they've got both sides covered. You know, we know that there's sites on here uh, that are Muslim sites uh, with these different sheep guys. There's a real famous one, Hussein. We know he's a full-on operative. And we know there's that Atla World Ministries, the black Christian guy. Well, we know he's an operative. I mean, many like them. Joel Osteen type people, the Hovens, you know, we've got all that there. We know that there's just people who appear to be somebody in the middle, and they're an operative. They've got all bases covered. And Queen B. Knightley, oh, she's a shocker. And it's just this dumb way she speaks. So annoying. So Michu Cuckoo. It really made me sick on the stomach. But Lester here has done a great job and pulled it all apart and he's got all these little things coming up, pointing out all things that are wrong, uh, especially in this front first bit here about this mountain. What silly deception. And Jeff C. I don't know much about this Jeff C. Everyone's talking about him, but he's obviously uh, in cahoots, as he said, with this Queen Bee Knightley, all part of that little game. I think he's the guy, wasn't he, that's sort of half asleep with the horns you know, done in the sheets above his head that rattles off paying out the flat earth uh, people. 
and then they can pay him out, and on it goes like a tennis match. Oh, it's quite incredible, isn't it? But uh, all we want to do is examine the real good, you know, information. We don't need all this ego, maniac type, ha ha, like football game, tennis match style stuff. John McEnroe's of YouTube. You can see from the background behind the timer at the top there, the horizon line is below him. He has to oh. go down to see the horizon line. Now, how dumb is that? Seriously, have you seen anything more dumb in your life? You know, and yet trying to pull it off as real for the average punter. Oh, I've seen this thing on YouTube, and yeah, they were above the horizon line. This is as bad as those rockets. So I will apologise to you, Mr. Rushvich, for getting so angry on your channel. You seem to run away and hid. Uh, but anyway, maybe you'll comment on this video. Can you see now why I make these videos and I put the effort in? I just want to, you know, show people there's a lot of deception. And certainly all those rocket launches are deception too. So please go and watch this uh, video by uh, Lester Nedham and give him a comment there. No, there's, the ball has got it right. I'm so sorry. Can we please just move on? He's just sort of having a dig. And here he's got a really good one about Everest where they show this. And one look at it, you can tell that's a camera lens doing that. You know, just the first impression I have when it's, oh, well, there's a camera lens thing. But a lot of people go, oh, there's a ball. There's a ball. Like, ladies like this. He's got this dinosaur. So he's in with the dinosaur hoax. Good on you, sir. Uh, he's got something to show us. Boy, oh, boy, I love this. He pulls this photo in here. Look at that. There you go. There you go. So we've got the man with the W, but as you can see, this one here is flat. So they love putting this up. This is what I noticed with dog cam, you know, where you have the earth goes this way one minute, then, then it goes flat, and then it, it goes the um, convex. It goes from concave to flat to convex and back again. Like a trampoline, somebody said, and made a video about it. But, as I said, all that footage, fake to the max. You know, just drop a black thing over here now. This guy could be standing in space. Cut the, cut the, uh, bit of the foreground off him. Put some new legs on him. You know, in Photoshop. And this guy could be floating in near space. That could be that, uh, Felix guy that jumped out of the air. There's been a new one of that, and it's even more fraudulent looking. I'll have to do a video on that. But good on you, uh, Lester. Keep up the good work.